Hey Seattle, here's your monthly market update for June 2023. Now I want to start off by saying I recently had a seller contact me saying she wanted to move but she felt like it was a terrible time to sell her home. And I want to just set the record straight right up front. It is not a terrible time to sell your home. In fact, we have very few homes on the market and a lot of buyer demand. So it is still a very strong seller's market in the Seattle area. Now I wanna invite you to come over here and look at some MLS statistics with me. These curves represent the Seattle market, the King County market as a whole, and the Snohomish County market as a whole. And what we're seeing here is the sales data uh, on a monthly basis. And so we can see after kind of having a trough in January, we had a big uptick in median home prices sold. So now Seattle median home prices are at 825,000. That does include condos as well as single family homes. King County is at 810,000 and Snohomish County is right around 700,000. So that means if you lined up all the transactions that take place and went to the middle, these are the home prices, seven to $800,000 homes, half or more, half or less. So that's one data point. And that kind of shows where we are in relation to this time last year. You know, that was a crazy time with low interest rates, but we haven't really lost a lot of equity. We're still in a great position. Um, most people have a lot of equity in their home that they've gained in, over the past couple of years and kept um, most of that. So looking at homes for sale, this tells us how many homes are actually on the market. And uh, we had a lot on the market last year, especially last summer when they started cranking interest rates so high, so fast, a lot of stuff stopped selling. And that might be where you kind of checked out and unplugged and said, okay, it's not a good time to sell my home. Now we have much fewer homes for sale. This is like the peak home selling time of the year. And we just do not have a lot of inventory uh, when it comes to um, number of pending sales and number of closed sales, these numbers are going up, indicating an increasing number of transactions are taking place. And here's one of the indicators that I think is the most telling, which is average days on market. Uh, right now we are again under a week, six to seven days on market in um, all of these areas. So not to worry if you think it's a bad time to sell your house, it's not. And buyers, I wanna encourage you as well. A lot of people are saying that, um, the market has slowed down a little bit because interest rates are higher now. But if you do lock in a home now at today's higher interest rates, then you can always refinance it down the road if and when interest rates come down. And if you're waiting for that to happen to buy, well, guess what? Just like we saw when interest rates went down before, prices went up. So if you wait for interest rates to come down, chances are prices will go up and you'll still be looking at a similar monthly payment. So from a buying perspective, it's definitely a good time to be looking. This is Emily Cressy with HomeSmart Real Estate in Seattle. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at homeproassociates.com.